Good morning, dear colleagues. Today, I would like to present the experience of uh, UNDP Armenia Climate Change Program in uh, the area of uh, uh, assessing uh, the climate, uh, climate change related gender and social vulnerability of households in order to support their uh, just transition to new energy sources of to uh, energy efficient efficiency in their how uh, in their buildings the structure of armenia's economy has drastically changed after its independence and the households became a largest consumer of energy in the country with 36% share in the total energy consumed. In this slide, we see that most sustainable area of household energy consumption is heating. And uh, in absence of the district heating system, 99% of households heat their homes by different appliance and fuel sources. 68% of the household's energy consumption is the natural gas. Continued growth of the GDP and welfare enable residents to increase spendings on heating their apartments, and uh, the energy consumption for heating have led to an increase in household greenhouse gas emissions over the past decade. Updated nationally determined contributions of Armenia set target for GHG emissions reduction by 40% from the 99, uh, 1990 level. Uh, to achieve this uh, set, the government has adopted the program on energy saving and renewable energy for the period of 2020 to 2030 and specify the mitigation measures for the households. There are the following. Promoting investment in alternative heating, energy saving, clean energy, transition from natural gas to electricity, motivating apartment owners to contribute to the energy efficient renovations and thermal insulation of their buildings. To realize those transitions, the households must reallocate their family budgets or to borrow additional resources from financial institutions. For sure, not all of them are able to do that. That's why Within the framework of the risking and scaling up investment in energy efficient building retrofits project, we are trying to assess, to conduct a series of surveys in order to assess the affordability and accessibility of energy efficient measures for households in general, to identify most vulnerable households in terms of transition, in particular, and to develop a set of appropriate indicators for ex-ante social and gender impact assessment of transition. Based on those surveys, we are elaborating uh, findings of these surveys. We are elaborating uh, appropriate instruments for supporting poor and vulnerable households and to, to consult the Ministry of Labor and Social Affairs and ARFSTAN I, especially Minister of Labor and Social Affairs, how to consider uh, those findings and those recommendations in their uh, strategy, uh, social protection strategy and gender equal equality strategy of Armenia. Now I would like to present how we use the national statistics in our work in our assessment works. First of all, we are using to enlarge the poverty uh, integrated living condition, uh, condition surveys uh, based on what uh, the ARMSTAT calculated the poverty level in the country. 
We are using uh, those indicators for assessing poor households, for their composition, to uh, uh, to understand where are the poor and who are the poor. We you, uh, also use the heating uh, indicators that produced by our stat through the uh, uh, household survey. Those are 15. 15 questions are included in the uh, household questionnaire about concretely heating, how they heat their dwellings, uh, which kind of devices they use, which kind of, kind of means they use for uh, heating, type of fuels, expenses on fuel, etc. We also using uh, we are also using the heating um, uh, health uh, poverty indicators also pro uh, produced by the uh, Armstad uh, within the framework of their study on multidimensional poverty. All these indicators help us and uh, to understand. Uh, uh, the ways uh, how we can implement policies of, uh, affect uh, how the, the, the policies affect households and whether the actions planned by uh, us and by the government in, uh, are the pro-poor in general and uh, socially targeted also in general at the national, mainly at the national level. Except these uh, poverty data, we are using also the direct administrative data, more, more concrete administrative data, which uh, are maintaining by the Ministry of Labor and Social Affairs. They have four registers under the uh, OSPITE. Those registers devoted, uh, uh, accumulated the data on low income families, on pensioners, on persons with disabilities and orphans for the uh, administrative registers. Those uh, information in the, those registers are more addressed, personified, but we are using, of course, unpersonified information, mostly by the community and by Marzis level. Unfortunately, the information stored in administrative registers of ministry is not available for the public at large. But uh, they are cooperating with the with Armstad and provide deliver them once a year uh, information which are pu uh, published in the social situation of Armenia a statistical handbook every year. We're using this information very, very frequently and uh, very uh, uh, in, in, in time. But uh, as can be understood that uh, this uh, information is uh, not very granular, uh, granular, not grassroots, and some, in some cases we need more targeted studies uh, in order to understand, uh, in order to evaluate, to identify, first of all, the families in the specific given community and come to them for support, for our, by our support. These uh, sociological surveys provide specific information on gender, on social vulnerability at community level and serve in, serve in some cases as a unique source of data for evaluating gender and social impacts of climate change. Household surveys, how we are conducted to social, social, sociological surveys and what kind of instruments we are using for identifying uh, more vulnerable households. First of all, we are conducted household surveys on gender social vulnerability issues with connection with, 
uh, 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 by connection with climate change and we are revealing uh, cross-cutting issues. Second, we are organizing focus group discussions with different clusters of the population in order to understand the climate impact of climate change on the specific group of population. We are conducting deep interviews with community leaders and community activists. We're involving the local NGOs, mostly women-led NGOs, uh, dealing with social and gender issues in the field work. We are collecting grassroots information also through roundtable uh, discussions with journalists, with youth organization, institution, educational institution, etc., in order to understand the picture of gender and social vulnerability uh, issue in, in the, those given community. Uh, based on those uh, in the, uh, uh, studies and surveys, we are elaborating the concept of energy efficient eating behavior and its indicators. The behavior of the household, which used a local heating system, assessed the heating of the apartment as 100% and provided the average temperature as more than 18 degree of Celsius, was considered as sufficient, affordable, and up to sanitary norm, and so energy efficient. Based on this, concept and indicators were trying to uh, assess households be, uh, who's, uh, and who are not, who have not energy efficient behavior the, the, uh, to understand how, how what, I, what kind of household need our support. Over two thirds of female-headed households do not do not have an employment. On average, one male-headed household has three times more employed members than one family uh, female-headed household. These indicators I would not like to uh, list all of them, but you, we are doing the scrupulous uh, analysis of the indicators, uh, compile them. Uh, compa compare them uh, in gender-based, uh, in vulnerability-based uh, indicators, and in order to find out the most vulnerable households. Main findings of the survey help uh, to develop criteria of identifying those households and support in transition to energy efficient efficiency measures. Finally, I would like to say that uh, our efforts, our studies uh, conducted uh, surveys help us to uh, develop the recommendations and consult our stakeholders, main partners, mainly the Ministry of Labor and, for, uh, and uh, Social Affairs to elaborate gender responsive, social targeted programs which are considered the needs and uh, uh, main support needs of uh, vulnerable households. Now, currently we are working with uh, the ministry on the action plan for OJ of the gender strategy for 2024-2026, which should include special section on mitigating gender and social impact of climate change. Um, uh, also, the government uh, initiated very recently the, the social protection reform, which all uh, needs to be, which they are planning that this social protection reform should uh, absolutely uh, include the uh, climate change negative impacts on the vulnerable people, consider, not include, consider those impacts and will have 
spe special uh, response responses to uh, to mitigate those negative impacts. Thank you for attention. And, and uh, if you have questions, I am ready to answer them.